I had one story that kept me going, the story I kept telling myself. And it was something on the lines that I'm special. I didn't know how then or what I was meant to do. Sometimes I was even ashamed of thinking about why would I think I'm special? But that voice, I think, gave me a lot of hope and also allowed me to look at new possibilities and try new things. Um, and when you try new things, there's a lot of struggle. There's a lot of struggle and the struggle is really useful. And in those years of uh, finding your purpose and in finding what your natural talents are, questioning yourself, your confidence, sometimes going through depression, um, where I wouldn't believe that any of the stories I was telling myself about being special or talented were true. But I feel struggles sometimes lead us to a journey, a journey of uh, things that you wouldn't dare dreaming about. So I did everything that scared me. So I used fear as my lighthouse. Um, I spent 30 years of my life running away from it. So let me kind of, in my 30th year, try and pivot and let's go towards it. And that took me into a journey of doing uh, or creating possibilities for me. So I became an entrepreneur for the first time in 2012. I co-founded a company that eventually became one of the top 10 leadership companies in India. Six years later, I moved to Australia and set our business up here as well. Uh, I spoke at two TEDx forums and overcame my glossophobia, the fear of public speaking. And now with over 100 blue chip clients across the world, coaching some of the brightest minds um, and leaders, um, who would have thought, who would have thought my, certainly my old self would never have dreamt me being in this journey. So yes, my story of a scared little girl who wanted to be invisible and hidden from the world to somebody today who wants to spread that light, that light of awareness, to tell everyone that there is a place for all of us here with all our imperfect imperfections too.